everybody, now I know what you're thinking. Jared, you need to be studying. But my brain is fried, and making a video is not exactly rocket science. Plus, I got some gameplay footage that I'd like to show you. Of which Pokemon? Well, of the cutest Eeveelution in the game so far. The overall cutest Eeveelution is Umbreon, but close number two is Espeon. When I think about which one is the cutest, I just think about whose face do I just want to smush the most. And that's Umbreon. Uh, but until Umbreon is introduced in the game, Espeon will always be the cutest one in the game. So, I gotta play it. And I wouldn't be making this video if I wasn't successful on it. So, how do we play Espeon? Well, if you try to look for high-ranked games through the spectator mode, you might notice something. There's no Espeon games being played. In fact, I found more Azumarill games being played. Which tells you that... Is Espeon trash? I don't think so. Right? So, I just think that Espeon is a bit unintuitive. Let me explain. Right? We look at Espeon's abilities. We have a few options. Psyshock and Psybeam. And those are very powerful nukes, but they suffer from three really big downsides. The first one is their long cooldown, right? Nine seconds on Psybeam. The second part is mobility. When you use them, you there's a cast animation, and it's quite long. And what that means is that you push the button... Espeon stops moving, lines up the move, shoots the projectile, and then you're free to move again. And it's kind of long, right? And it really does put you in harm's way. Definitely gives your opponents the opportunity to close in on you. And Espeon is paper. Technically classified as an attacker, so back to the whole long cooldown thing, you think, oh, I can be auto-attacking in between those, but not really. Espeon doesn't really do that much right-click damage. And then the third big downside is range. They're not that long of a range. And again, paper. You really need to stay out of harm's way. And the other two abilities, the other two moves, I think do a much better job of keeping you out of harm's way. So we have Stored Power instead of Psyshock, right? When you use this, you don't stop moving. In fact, you actually just get faster, and it's a sure hit, right? At level 6, you get Future Sight, which locks onto a Pokemon, right? And then will deal more damage the lower they are. Actually, Stored Power also deals more damage the, the lower they are. Now, Future Sight actually has the same cooldown as Psybeam. The only thing is, if there is a Pokemon that is affected by Future Sight because, you know, Future Sight takes a while before it actually explodes and deals the damage. So when the st stored power hits them, that reduces the cooldown of Future Sight. So in fights, you'll just kind of be running around the edge with Future Sight and stored power coming off cooldown at about the same rate and just keep on throwing those out there, right? Um, you get to move around and use these at the same time, you're not really putting yourself in harm's way, and you gain movement speed. I guess the idea is, be as annoying as possible, right? And while that might seem antithetical to my previous video about Dragonite Brawlin, I do like winning more than morals. So, this is how I play Espeon. And here is some of the success that I had. I'm not really going to go for the score. Just because I don't really need to hit 5, I just need to hit 4. There we go. Got him! Oh yeah! And I'll blink out of there. Yes! Oh,
Hi, Trevenant. Bye, Trevenant. Ah, oh, I got frozen. That was a short video, but like I said, Espeon's not really a brawler. Just kind of stand around the edge of battle, throwing out as many moves as possible. Doesn't exactly make for exciting gameplay footage, but it was effective. Took me into 1400, so let me tell you how I built Espeon, right? Focus Band, because I put Focus Band on everything. Score Shield, because I really wanted to hit 4 and 6 as early as possible. And because I'm solo queuing, I don't always have a united front attacking the goal with my uh, teammate. I know if I did, and maybe if I were better at the game, I wouldn't need score shield in order to hit six as early as I, as possible using this method. But because I am solo queuing, because I'm not that good, that's what I did. And then finally, energy amplifier. I want to use my ultimate as much as possible. It was very effective. Um, and then a lot of these clips I had eject button, maybe in all of these clips I had eject button, but I switched that up for uh, X speed. That ended up being a little bit better in most situations. Um, but yeah, uh, now Espeon will always be in my repertoire, and hopefully we'll get a lot more Eeveelutions in the game, because Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. But I hope this helps you figure out maybe one effective playstyle for Espeon. And I hope to see you guys in my stream sometime soon.